This is just like last week where we had round after round of rain and the timing of this week's rain has been almost consistent. It's late afternoon into the early evening and then it runs right toward daybreak and it's still coming down fairly heavily in the Lawrence area. The breeze is up too, blowing at 15, so it's going to be kind of a slow and kind of messy start there. And there's still some rain in the Manhattan area too, even though the vast majority of this is well off to the east of Manhattan. The very back edge of a spin is kind of influencing that area and there's the rain that's still coming down Topeka and there's been almost an inch of rain just since midnight and outlying areas and areas just west have had one to two and so it just keeps coming down 60 degrees though so the temps are up the dew point at 57 and there's that breeze east northeast near 20 so when you have rain and wind that's not a very pleasant start to the day and again 0 0.90 with rainfall so a lot of rivers have flood warnings the vast majority of the area including all of our viewing area is under that flash flood watch until 1 a.m and still some fairly big storms down toward the southeast corner. So parts of Shawnee County have had roughly an inch. Kansas City just getting the heavier rain now. That will certainly add up as the morning goes on. Manhattan 1.44, Emporia 1.8, and that puts some totals between Emporia and Manhattan in the six inch category since all of this began on Sunday late. So there's a look at numbers. 54 Marysville, Holton at 58, 62 in Lawrence, and Emporia at 61. So that's not really a problem, but that breeze makes it feel a little bit cooler than that, and it's also very damp with our rain. So some 40s and 30s up here toward the Rockies, Northern Plains. Some of that air is going to seep in. And so the warmer air that we've had here will shift east over the next 12 to 24. The cooler weather comes in, and that's going to put some spots in the upper 30s to low 40s tonight. So just be aware of that, that it might be a little bit cool if you have some plants that you can bring in. They might be a little bit sensitive to that. And then highs tomorrow only in the 50s. There's a really good look at that area of low pressure kind of spinning about and lifting toward the north and northeast. Heavier thunderstorms passing Oklahoma City, weakening off to the east of Tulsa, approaching Fayetteville and Fort Smith. But we have our rain that's gradually trying to taper off this morning as we go toward 6, 7, and 8. In the afternoon, here comes our last batch of showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be very heavy. As we approach midnight, that begins to ease, so it will stop sooner than the rainfall that we're getting today. But we're going to be socked in with clouds, cooler air, and kind of this northerly and northwesterly wind. And then clouds should decrease overnight Thursday into Friday as we head toward a prettier day. For today, a chance to be in the low 70s. 70s, rain early, storms late. Timing of that's probably between 5 and 10 o'clock as we go into the early evening. And then those thunderstorms dissipate. Mainly cloudy to overcast on Thursday. 56 is it, and some spots will be several degrees below that. A mild day for Friday. A possible shower now. You might have to dodge a couple of showers on Saturday for events and activities, but otherwise we're heading toward a prolonged dry period here. Mother's Day, so mostly sunny. Some sunshine Monday. Just scattered clouds Tuesday. Probability of rain, it looks like, for next week is really low, and that's exactly what we need after having so much rain on back-to-back -back weeks. This is KSNT News. We're coming right back, and when you're away from TV, it's our mobile app and website that will keep you informed.